Between the PBR Georgia JUCO Scout Day and the fall invite, it was talent overload at Lake Point Sports of late. PBR Georgia's Justin Getz is here to wade through it all with the players that had him talking. Justin, good to have you in again. Always good to see you, Corey. So let's do this. Give me those players that we need to know from those events. So first of all, we had two shortstops that made a thunderous appearance at Lake Point. Um, the first one being Dwight Banks, sophomore shortstop from Gordon State. Kid 6'3", 185, looks like an NFL wide receiver, moves like an NFL wide receiver. Five-tool potential. Uh, he's got three standout tools currently, the hit, run, and field. Uh, he's super effortless at the plate. Swing works in perfect sequence. He's an advanced right center to left center approach with a high level of plate discipline. This guy's going to take what he gets at the plate. He's not going to get himself out. Uh, made some very impressive plays at shortstop. Uses his length, range, glove work, footwork to uh, really make an impact there. And then on the other, uh, his guy he faced off against was Zade Brannigan. Um, who's a Georgia Highlands guy. I know you know him well. WKU commit from the U.S. Virgin Islands, 6'1", 180, uh, went to high school in Georgia. Extremely high-energy player with rare bat speed and athleticism. Uh, the, the swing mechanics are dynamic with unreal balance and body control. He can turn the barrel in tight space just as well as he can inside out, uh, outside pitches. Swing works in the top and bottom of the zone as well, where he can steepen or lessen barrel angle. I, I think his swing, you know, and I'm a big comp guy, as you know, I I see Tim Anderson in the swing comp, which not saying he's him once again, but if your swing looks a lot like Tim Anderson's, that's usually probably a good thing. Um Above average runner with smooth actions, showed off his arm uh, on multiple relay throws where he threw guys out. Uh, really like him, man. I think he's going to take off at WKU. And then over to our, our fall invite, a guy who I hadn't seen before, Bishop Quarles. He's an outfielder. Big McCartney guy, 2024 from Madison, Tennessee, Ohio State commit. Um, when you look at him, you're you're not thinking he's 5'11, 165. He looked more six foot 185 to me, but that's just the lean muscled frame. Uh ridiculous force in his hands through contact, backspins balls everywhere with the flick of the wrist. He's actually, and I just randomly found this out, related to former Super Bowl linebacker Shelton Quarles. <laughs> he actually didn't know he was related to him, and I asked him. And we figured that out. But uh, and obviously, I looked at your interview from 2021 on him where he said his biggest challenge was going oppo. Well, he his highest EVs in the tournament, which he had a lot of them, the two highest were oppo. Hmm. Uh, so he's really fixed, you know, the things he was working on there in a short amount of time. And you can check out my article uh, for the fall invite on him for a more in-depth analysis on the swing. But it's a plus runner with plus range in center field. Stole three bases in, in three innings, the first three innings I saw him. Um, kids unreal. And then probably one of my favorite, or obviously easily one of my favorite hitters from the entire summer and fall is Carter Johnson. He's a shortstop from Oxford, Alabama. Recent Bama commit. Future gamer for the Alabama team. 6'2", 175. Uh, without question, one of the best bats I saw all summer. He's moved 318 spots in our national rankings to 123. So that's, you know, that just says it all right there. Um, from top to bottom in our organization, we really love him. It's the most repeatable swing I've seen in 2022. Uh, rare pitch recognition, advanced approach, special hand eye, plate discipline. It's a pro type swing. Um, the arm's already plus at shortstop. His his tool that's uh, not there quite yet would be the speed, but it's an average run, and he runs very athletically, which I do think he'll be an above-average runner. 
but uh, everything he does is completely effortless. And then the only pitcher uh, on this top five is Gavin King from Liberty Creek High School in Tennessee. He's another five-star Mid-South guy with corals. Um, one of the most projectable arms in the Southeast at 6'5", 190. Long and loose, uh, very good ease of operation. He's uh, It's a loose, lengthy, connected, low three-fourth arm slot. Um, the max velo on his PBR profile was 86, but on this this last weekend, he was 86, 88, touching 89 with steep plane and in nasty run and sink. Um, he flipped in a, a 72 to 75 slurve with it solid sweep, flash two plane depth. Um, I do think a slider will probably work better for him down the road. He's kind of blending both right now, but also showed very impressive feel for a change up in the low 80s downer action and would love to see him throw that more well I, i'm glad you're high on zay brand again i'm here to tell you that kid is absolutely for real he is justin gets make sure you follow him on twitter at jay gets pbr and follow pbr georgia while you're at it justin thanks and we'll see you on the diamond yes sir see you soon brother